Hi, this is a reading for Aries. So Aries, urgent message here, urgent message. Aries, I'm hoping that you understand that right now there's a lot of things on the table for you. It feels like for a lot of Aries, you have decisions or choices that are needed to be made. Now, if you're not willing to make these choices or decisions for some of you, well, let me let the cards tell you the story, okay? So your first card came up as the Ten of Cups. So cups being love and ten being the number of completion. So here we have either you've completed a certain um, timeline for the partner that is in your life or currently was in your life. I'm sorry, that was in your life currently or in the most recent past. This is talking about something that may have ended Aries, something that may have been quite different uh, outcome. It may have been a quite different outcome than you actually thought would end up this way. I feel like for a lot of you Aries, this situation, okay, um, having the Ten of Cups, having the love that was there, feeling that desire, feeling that need, feeling that want for that person, either them for you or you for them. But either way, this was a very demanding relationship at the same time it was rewarding in certain ways true but there's also a side of this Aries that was not healthy and you know that you know there was not a side that that wasn't needing some type of adjustment even in the areas where you thought it was kind of good no that's you wanting to sugarcoat something wanting to soften the blow so to speak but the truth is Aries the relationship needed work, which is why it fell apart. Because instead of you trying to make it seem like it was okay, make it seem like it was going to work out, make it seem like don't worry about it, you know, you pacified it. And because you procrastinated on something, you didn't address it, you tried to ignore it. There were several red flags that came towards you, Aries, that all along the way, for some of you, this is years. For some of you, yes, it could have been just for a few months, but... For majority of you, this is a long-term relationship. This is not somebody that just came in and out of the blue. This wasn't a one-night stand. You wouldn't even waste your energy on that. This is somebody you believed you were going to have a future with. This is somebody that you've been waiting for them to step up to the plate and do what's needed to be done. The next card, Aries, that came up is, in fact, the Page of Wands. So what do we mean by the Page of Wands? Well, Again, I decipher, I give the answers a lot different than other readers will. So, you know, choose your channel, choose your people. But in my speaking, okay, in my messages, the page of wands is you are looking back on a situation, Aries. You're looking back at it, one, because you miss it. Two, because you're wondering what did you do wrong. Three, you're trying to figure out just... How did this turn? How did this road start to have a, a twist and turn in it? Because when you look at the page, when you look at it, you see it's not a straight path. This path goes like this, which means there were turns or bends, bends in the road, which means it wasn't a straight path, which means that there were obstacles for you to get through, so to speak, obstacles for you to avoid right? But some of you, you didn't avoid the obstacle. You actually just try to plow right through it. You just try to pretend it wasn't there. And like, oh, was that a stop sign? Zoom, you blew right through it. A lot of you with the page of wands, it talks about thinking about that love, thinking about that person. Your mind keeps wandering back as to what exactly are they doing now? What are they doing without me? Are they moving forward? For some of you, this is a concern. For some of you, you're waiting and wondering, are they going to come walking back up that path again? Excuse me, my allergies are so bad. Are they going to, are they going to come back? Am I waiting for nothing? Will I be waiting forever? Or will in fact they finally realize how much I love them, and will they come back? Will they appreciate what I've done for them? Will they see the sacrifices that I made for them is what you're asking. When I look at the page of wands, look again. 
You're leaving something behind. Or it feels like somebody's left you behind. This is a feeling of despair, loneliness. This is a feeling like, why did they leave me? Why do I feel abandonment here? Okay, let's see what's next. Let's see what's next. All right, so the next card that comes up is, in fact, the Five of Cups. And it makes sense with the Five of Cups because the Five of Cups talks about how you're feeling, where we just were talking about, that you're feeling a loss. You, you feel like you put everything into those cups, everything into this relationship, and everything that you work so hard for just kind of fell apart. As the cups are emptying out there, remember with the five of cups, you still have the two cups left on the table. So all is not lost in this matter, Aries. All is not drifting out now to the ocean, something being taken away by a greater force. Okay. For some of you, yes, your partner may have uh, left to go with somebody else thinking that the grass was greener, thinking that things were going to work out much better for them, thinking that, oh, they're, they're just doing themselves a favor by leaving. Mm. For some of you, for some of you, for some of you, your partner who thinks that, they'll be back. Because, see, they've put up this facade. They put on this show, so to speak. They've gotten this other person around them through false pretenses because they weren't being themselves. But once that other person sees how they truly are, they're going to disregard them. And then you're going to have a choice whether or not you'll be a rebound and accept them back because you love them so much and hope they learn their lesson and they won't leave again. Or some of you may say, you know what? I'm good. Never mind. I'm done with it. Okay. Now, for some of you, as we spoke about the Five of Cups, like I said, all is not lost. Right now, for Aries, things are being put on hold. Right now, things are not what they seem to your naked eye. Things that you are visualizing, things that only you can see as you look as a human being with your eyes, but you can't see. It's like, what's behind me right now? Can you see what's behind me? Mm -mm. But you can hear that washing machine running, right? But my point is, you can't see what's behind me. I can't right now see what's behind me, but I have faith in the matter. I know that what's behind me will eventually come in front of me and it'll be right here. And I'm gonna have to face something face to face. And that's what's coming up for you, Aries. Something is going to come face to face with you. You're gonna have to make a decision on whether or not you're ready to confront this person whether or not you're ready to open up your heart and explain to them how you felt, the abandonment, um, the rejection, the heartache, the disappointment. Now listen, some of you, I'm sorry, but you have to own your own stuff too. Some of you put expectations on somebody else. And when you put expectations on someone else, that sets yourself up for disappointment. Because nine times out of ten, you put their expectations way up there and they can't reach it. Because they were never working on that energy level in the first place. Their energy level was always right here. But if you put their, if you put your expectation just a little bit higher, they can reach that. It would be good. But when you put an expectation on someone whose energy is here and you want to put it all the way up here, well, hell, I couldn't reach it either. Not as fast as you'd want me to. So the whole key here for Aries, talking right now, and we're getting into September here, because Aries, this is all about September. This is what's coming around you and towards you. There's a great balance waiting just for you. Question is, are you willing to be patient to trust in the universe. See, the biggest problem with us humans is that we want instant gratification. We want it now. We want it when we want it. But we can't control that. I can't control it for you. I can't control it for me. So all we can do is wait it out. 
Keep doing what you do. Keep working. Keep taking care of your home. Keep saving your money. Keep investing in you right now. And when the time's right, that person is going to come back around the corner and they're going to see you. And they're going to want to talk to you. And they're going to want to know what you're doing, what you've been doing. They're going to want to know if you still love them, if you still want to work this out with them. So I think it's really, really important, Aries, that you express how you feel to your partner. Because end all be all, they still love you. They still love you. And I know that majority of you still love your partner. It's okay that things need to be worked out. It's okay that they're not perfect. Neither are you. Neither am I. So listen. Lower the expectations a little bit. Accept that partner for who they are. Now, it doesn't mean accept them for cheating, accept them for manipulating, accept them for lying. No, no. Mm -mm. But it does mean allow them to be who they are. Keep complimenting and encouraging them to do the right things. Make sure you show them appreciation when they do something for you. It's just like you. If I show appreciation to you and you're my employee, you're going to work harder. If I say, wow, you're doing a great job. You're really working so hard. You're doing a great job. They're going to be like, wow, my boss noticed. I'm going to do harder tomorrow too. I'm going to really do good. So your partner is going to do the same thing. Wow, you really cut that grass really nice. It looks so much better. Thank you so much. You really did a great job. I'm like, wow, I'm going to cut it next week and I'm going to edge it. So, remember, everybody likes to be encouraged. Everybody wants to be appreciated. So that's all I can tell you for the month of September.